President, mm -hmm. I'd like to see you again. Good to see How you are you, sir? Just now. I bring you the best regards of the whole family. Yasmin, Kay, Sally. Well, I bring you from Nancy. Best regards for Kay, Sally, and for all the very kind. And the goldfish. And the goldfish. They're still well and healthy. Yeah, particularly the, that famous one. You know, General. General Power. How are you, General? Nice to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Chair over there. Yeah, sure. Yes, sir. Well, it is good to see you again, President. Uh, you have helped us set the stage for Afghanistan. Well, <laughs> thank you, but I'm so pleased and proud that you're going to be doing what you're doing. It's going to be a challenge. Very difficult. Yes. Enough. Everyone is waiting for me to make my first mistake. <laughs> 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 and how that goes. It's uh, literally a minefield, quite literally. Yes. I've been wondering about something connected to that. A number of our friends, the Japanese and European countries, have let us know they're, they, they're going to be helpful. Oh, yes. And we intend to be as, as much as we can. Well, I appreciate that. But I have just been wondering, with regard to the Soviet Union, it isn't enough for them to be contributing to the present government. But I can't help but wonder if an approach was innocently made to them, if Gorbachev wouldn't find this maybe a, a thing that he could do that would, uh, that would, would put him in the... Well, Mr. President, hello. It's a pleasure, sir. It's a pleasure. Well, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Let me uh, introduce you to Michael Linda. Hello. Seven and a half great years. Why don't you get in the middle? No. Me in the middle? No. Linda in the middle. That's a pretty picture. She's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now. All right. One more. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Well, I know we missed this. Uh, you got away from us before we had to return $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I thank you for what you did in Grenada, and I know the Sultan of Brunei is a great friend of ours. He is indeed, at least from a distance, he appears that he is. I hope you'll meet him sometime soon. I'd, I'd like that. He's a staunch communist, anti-communist, so he's uh, on our side all the way over there. We did some little souvenirs so you won't forget us when you're that far away. Yeah, they forget you. see you. Ring with the seal. Yeah. And I understand you have another family member who isn't here with you. Yes. So yeah. give her one. I <laughs> she was at the RNC uh, with your daughter. Oh. And she is the, uh, the, the staunch Republican. She is sick to death. She can't be here, but oh. she sends her best regards. Well, give her ours. Yeah. President Reagan at the California. And I'm very proud of you. And I want to say thank you for everything you've done for our children. And you go down as one of our greatest. President of Peace, California and Los Angeles and San Francisco. Born in San Francisco. Uh, a migrant. <laughs> yeah. And we'll enjoy going, visiting your library when it's built. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Beautiful piece of country. Someone has given us 100 acres of rolling hills there in the San Fernando Valley. You oh. see the ocean from the oh, side. Fantastic. Oh, that's well, we'll take our leave. Thank you, sir. This is a real pleasure. Thank you. We bet any time to see you. Thank you very much.
schedule pretty full, please. <laughs> appreciates very much the opportunity of meeting with you today to, to present to you our report on NATO in the 90s. I might point out, Mr. President, that this is a presidential committee of the General Assembly of NATO. It was uh, made up of 14 members, all members of uh, various parlia parliaments, uh, representing 10 different countries. Uh, we have four from the United States, Sam Dunn and myself from the Senate, Doug B. Ryder and Bill Richardson from the House. It represents, the report represents, I think, a pretty broad consensus. Uh, let me say that I think all of us, Mr. President, agrees that you made great progress uh, with the Russians, both in the area of arms reduction and changing the political climate, and we think our report for that reason is very timely because I think those developments represent both a challenge and an opportunity. We say a challenge because obviously with the reduction of nuclear weapons, conventional defense becomes much more important. And the imbalance between the Warsaw Pact and ourselves become more serious. And as we spell out in the report how that should be addressed, uh, one of our key recommendations, Mr. President, is that in the 90s, the uh, European pillar must become a reality. That's something I know you have addressed in the past and would agree with us. One other area I might, I might mention, time does not permit me to go through all the recommendations, but we feel very strongly that unity is important that NATO is relevant to our future. And we uh, specifically provide for a summit conference next year of the chiefs of government of NATO. We think it's important to spell out a new mandate for the 90s. I'm just sorry that you can't be there, Mr. <laughs> President. <laughs> but uh, simply put, that uh, we go, in, uh, of course, into considerable detail on, on the how we think these problems should be addressed. Uh, one thing that may uh, interest you, we, we look at the problem of out of NATO area. We recognize that NATO was not developed to take care of those kind of problems, even though they can represent a threat to NATO. So there we propose that there be a new working group of uh, NATO countries plus other Western countries, including Japan. Mm -hmm as a means of trying to address those early on and provide for better cooperation. Well, Bill, I, I thank you. One of the principal tasks I, we face, I think, is maintaining a political and strategic consensus uh, within the alliance. And we have achieved that consensus. And uh, through, we've done it through extensive dialogue and uh, we'll continue to do so. All of our other meetings are inevitably followed by a report to, uh, to, to NATO to what we've been doing, so they won't think we've been off on our own <laughs> doing something. And uh, I think I should tell you that I know that several of the recommendations in your report have caught the eye of some of our policymakers uh, here in Washington, and I'm, I'm very pleased to receive this report myself. Not too long ago, uh, when we met, uh, there in one of those reporting sessions, 
I couldn't help but call attention to the fact of how we had come together there and that probably the biggest single factor that made that unusual was that heretofore, most of the world, and certainly in Europe, uh, wars were usually started in the peace terms of the war that had just ended. And uh, finally we came to a difference after the great one and the great world war, and we set out a different set of standards that has resulted in not only an alliance that includes those who were once allied in a war, but also those who were on the other side in the war, were all together. And uh, I think it is, well, as I said at that last gathering there of NATO, as far as we're concerned, and it should stay this way, and I hope it does into the 90s, whoever is, is here, that uh, we consider a bomb dropped on Amsterdam would be no different than a bomb dropped on Chicago would be that important as far as we were concerned, and I think that's what the rule of NATO should be. But I haven't got any time to go on talking more than to say thank you again to all of you here and all of you for this report, and I look forward to it. Mr. President, Senator Pat Cock, how are you doing? Do come in. Good to see you. Well, good to see you. I want to present to you Peggy and Bruce Brady. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. President. And this is Tatanka, a sculpture that Bruce Brady has done in bronze. He's one of the outstanding artists of Mississippi. That's magnificent. I'm going to let Bruce come over here and stand by you, but I'm going to move off the side here. Isn't that beautiful? It is. Yes. Well, I think you maybe Thank better you. come around here and join me. Yes, sir. Oh, that's just magnificent. Wonderful, huh? I hope it'll bring you many years of pleasure. Yeah, it really will. As you can uh, see, I'm a little partial to <laughs> Western art. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wonderful. It's Somebody a... just the other day was wondering why the Republican Party didn't switch to the buffalo from, <laughs> from the element. <laughs> and yes, sir. Not a bad idea. All right, yeah. Well, it's entitled Tatanka, which is a Sioux Indian word for buffalo. Now that I didn't yeah. know, I was wondering. Right, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, that's just me. Well, thank you wonderful. very much. Well, thank you, sir. Here's a letter of authenticity. Yeah, this is a letter for, of authenticity. It's an artist proof of, uh, of this particular sculpture. Well, I just want to thank yeah, you personally for mm -hmm. what you've done for our country and the honor that you brought to yeah. us uh, over years, Mr. President. Well, thank you. That's very kind of Peggy you. also has Wonderful a gift, job. Mr. President. This is from the Mississippi Highway Patrol. This is there. Well, yeah. that's for your belt buckle out yep. there on yeah. the farm. Yes. We call it, yeah. you call it a ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm from the Midwest to begin yeah. with, too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can see how quickly that converted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank uh, you very uh, much. Mrs. Brady, maybe you'd yeah. like to get on the President's yeah. other yeah. side and we can yeah. get yeah. a picture right. of the greatest. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. And I, and I thank you for this. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, John. How are you, sir? Good to see you. I'd like you to meet Mr. DeMille of Sedona, yes, Arizona. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, nice to see you. Pleasure. And Mr. DeMille is the one who came to present you with this beautiful bronze that he's this, the, made. The front of it is on the other side. Huh? Well, for heaven's sake, thank you very much. I was inspired by the uh, summit last December. And, uh, uh, the summit meeting, and I thought this would be very appropriate for the well, world. <laughs> Mr. DeMille is one of our famous artists uh, in Arizona. He's done many other works, including a painting of you, I believe. I did one of you when you became governor of Arizona. Yes. Or of uh, <laughs> California. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 and uh, yes. uh, Jack Rather and Benita Granville, they, yeah. they, they presented it to you at that time. Yes. 
They said you had it hanging in your home. I don't know if you did or not. <laughs> yes, sure did. yes, we did. So it's been a long time waiting to meet you there. Yeah. I'm very proud. Well, listen, this is just wonderful. And I'm most grateful to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope it inspires something in peace. Well, I really do. I, I hope so, too. And I'm, I'm not going to let myself get carried away, but I, I do think we're on the road to something. Yes, I think so, too. Thank you. Well, bless you. And thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we'll you take your pass back, and we're going to have a problem yeah. on the summit. Yeah. 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 Mr. Fulton, you're doing this. They're getting tired. Yeah. Gentlemen, this is the president. <laughs> okay, Mr. President, Senator Richard Shelby. Hello, Mr. President. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, uh, Glad to be here with you, but I mainly wanted to bring some people from Alabama with a lot of talent, especially well, Rick Rush, and he's got a present for you. Well, this is Rick Rush. Hello, Mr. President. Rick, Rick Rush. Rick Rush. Sir, 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 this is Don Rush, Mr. President. Hello, Rick Rush. How are you? Good to see you, Thank you sir. You know, in, in my short lifetime, we have literally seen some of the values in America uh, even be eroded away. and. Um, in the 13th chapter of the book of Romans, it says that God raises up leadership and those in authority and use them, uses them as his ministers. And the thing we want to do, we are so grateful that God has raised you up, you and Senator Shelby, as the leadership of our great land to refocus and redirect the vision and the values that have made America such a great country and to reestablish the American dream that we all have. And so on. On behalf of Senator Shelby and Don and myself and our families, we want to present these to you, two of the significant athletic events that have taken place during your two terms, the America's Cup, it being brought home from Australia, and also the 84 Olympics in California. This is one of the equestrian oh, events down in, yes. down in Santa, uh, Rancho Santa Fe. Tell him about Douglas Fairbanks. Douglas Fairbanks, this was on, the, the event took place, Prince, Prince Philip came over to find the best spot in Southern California to hold the event. It's the three-day obstacle course yeah. event. And they searched all over and found the best footing for the horses on a golf course down in Rancho Santa Fe. Douglas Fairbanks had bought this piece of property and had, always, had already had the house plan uh, uh, drawn up to build his dream home down there, but he died before he ever did it. So some, some developers came in, and bought the property, and uh, an individual bought the particular piece of property where he was going to build his home overlooking the lake and took his original house plans and built that same home there. So this is, this is where they held this particular event. But it's from the 84 Olympics and uh, the three-day equestrian event and uh, the America's Cup. Uh, yes. As a lover of Victor. horses, you'd like, you'd like them both. <laughs> it after uh, the Fairbanks Ranch oh, and yeah. Douglas Fairbanks. And a horse has to take a short jump up onto a small platform and then a larger jump up, on, uh, up onto a flat platform. This is about seven feet off the ground. And then take two strides across this platform, jump over three rails, and then back down. And I walked up to the edge of it, and you know, being about another six feet and seven feet to the ground, 13 feet, I told Neil, I said, I would jump off that thing not on top of a horse. Well, they won't let the president do that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, we appreciate uh, the opportunity to be with you and for them to have opportunity to present this to well, you. Well, this is nice to be grateful to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you very much. Mr. President, can we do one photo with all the gentlemen behind you? Sure. Once you get them, just... Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. All right. President Reagan, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank oh, you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, President. Thank you. One thing, Pete, we got every Wednesday night, we have a prayer time at our church. And uh, we, uh, every Wednesday night, your name is prayed for. But I was talking to a guy in Atlanta, and he was talking about this church. And I was in New York on business not too long ago. I was in the church of Calvary Baptist on Wednesday night, and that church was doing the same thing. And I was thinking about how important it is in our country. Well, and how the leadership, yes, you know. I have to tell you how important it is to me because I believe very much in that. And uh, sometimes I've, when I've heard about things like this, I wonder when I'm doing my own talking to him if once in a while I'm not going to get a busy signal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.
Okay. Congressman Bill Archer. Mr. Yes, President, it's good to see you again. Oh, good Very to see nice you. to be with you. My wife, Sharon, Sharon and, Hillary. Hillary. and her parents, who are loyal supporters of yours from the Napa Valley in California, Hillary. Lorraine and Harold Ashton. Mr. Hillary. President, we're behind you 100%. Maybe we ought to square away and get a family shot. Or maybe you can get on the other side. The president's on the side. Hi. All right. Yep, almost in the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you want to you step on here? here. Oh, okay. I hope you bring somebody good to California. We serve it at the White House. Good. Congressman Joe Barton. Hi, Mr. President. Hello. I want to introduce you to some John. folks from Dallas. This is Chris. Chris. <laughs> Hello. John. Hi, John. This is Eddie. Hi. Hello this there. Hi. Their father, Bill Dwyer. He's doing well. Hello, hello there. Nice Easter Child's you. program. He's doing a good hello. job of adopting children to single parents. And, uh, well, why don't you come in here and why don't you fellas and why don't we and have John McCain's back for a visit. Yes. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. and so forth, all three of you and support you yes. for those things and we support you've also been on a number of things. Yes. Bill has done a tremendous job so. of helping the adoption of children in the Dallas Fort Worth area. He's going nationwide. Well, I know it's a wonderful cause. Wonderful. I have a special favor. I wish you would sign this Christmas card you did for my family. Just say, God bless the Joe Barton family or <laughs> All right. Best personal wishes to the Joe Barton family. You've only done that about probably six million times since uh, you've been the president. Well, sometimes I enjoy it more than others. <laughs> <laughs> You did a great job over at the summit, Mr. President. That's a real accomplishment. I well, thank you. Congressman Archer and myself and Senator McCain, we're some of your strongest backers up in the House and the Senate. We just encourage you to stick with it on some of your, your initiatives and your vetoes and things like that. Well, yeah, you're right on on the trade bill. We're going to get that. Yeah. We're going to get that thing back. Oh, yeah. That's good. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank I thank you, Mr. You President. All. And then I thank you. My son who has much in common. Thank you. <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. All right. Take care of yourself. <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I didn't want to try to hint, but I didn't want to mention because I didn't know whether to say adopted in front of the three there, but I wanted them to know that I had one. <laughs> Number of Frank. What's the president? Yes. Mr. President? Hi. How are you, sir? How are you? Good to see you. Well, it's good to see you. This is my uh, wife, Carol. Hello. Hello. Nice, to nice to see you. you. My daughter, uh, Brenna. Brenna. Nice to meet Hello. you. Hello. You guys good to meet you. Uh, Hi, Rebecca. Back. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hi. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I think we all ought to get it together here for a for a family group. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Well, we get three on one side and three on the other. Okay. What we did. Might as well right here. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. You wouldn't get mad if I stuck my face into your business a little, would you? <laughs> Having been a lifeguard for seven years <laughs> and all my life, and then in motion pictures, never wearing makeup because of the tan I remained. And now I'm a lifeguard. <laughs> you are. Yep. And now I'm going to tell you, you've got to do something to not be getting that tan. I kind of. That's look exactly the, what he's telling me. Look, <laughs> look, look, look at the scar on my nose. That's where they had to take it off. Wow, okay. Carcinoma. I'll be careful. That's a uh, <laughs> Thank you. I tell her that every day. 
I thought it was wonderful, and as I say, all of my life, and now I'm out here saying to people, don't do it anymore, because I just thought I had a little bump on my nose, and uh, I did, and it was <laughs> carcinoma. Thanks a lot. Well, you don't mind my stick of my nose. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. I couldn't resist. I know. Because it's, oh, it's all just like yeah. mine began looking. Yep. Did you have your sunblock on yesterday? I figured you would. Mr. President, Congressman Joel Heffley. Yes, hi. Mr. Howard. President, good to, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I want to introduce to you Bill Lloyd from Colorado. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. Cowboy Bill Lloyd and his son Jim. How do you do, And his grandsons. Three of his grandsons. Hi. How are you? I don't know. Works for me. Yeah, he works for you. <laughs> you recognize that uniform? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Let, me, uh, let me get out of the way here so that it is my pleasure to present you with your own named bootjack. My goodness. Named and numbered? Uh, yes. Number one. And you know that I use bootjacks. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. I'm a rancher. I've heard. Oh, Bill right. made this. Oh, yes. He makes these. He's quite a yes. craftsman. And uh, knowing your uh, interest in horses that I share with you, of course, uh, he uh, he thought that would be a wonderful oh, thing to present you. And I think you'll find really good. And this letter describes uh, everything about it. And uh, you will be interested in the last part of it here. We understood your lovely wife, Nancy, yes. likes to ride also. We will have one for her, too. Well, bless you and thank you very much. That's a replacement for this, in case this goes into a museum. <laughs> <laughs> and well. we'll put it all right in the bag, and the bag goes with us. All right. No extra charge for the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand that a short time ago, you had a birthday. I sure did, March the 4th. Yes, sir. And that uh, happens to be my I, wedding anniversary. It, it is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and I always intended to become president and take charge on the 4th, on March the 4th. Oh, and then but then they changed it, it. it. <laughs> so I gave up. <laughs> I can that That's right. Well, bless you, and this is wonderful. Thank you. We're glad you're that. doing the good I'm job, but I'm <laughs> sure I could have. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yes, gather around. Okay. Thank you. That's great. What is it right here? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take that and use it, Mr. President. That's, that's yes. something that's useful. Uh, do, would you like a demonstration <laughs> of how to use that? Oh, I know how. Believe me, I know how. He knows you can't sit down and take off Western boots. Mm -hmm. You can't stand up and take them off. But with a good boot jack, it's that's yes. <laughs> so, but I don't have anything as fancy as this. <laughs> it doesn't come this is. is the only one that's registered at the U.S. Patent Office. Well, gracious <laughs> well, You will read all about this in the letter. All right. <laughs> well, God bless you. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Be careful. The greatest thrill of my last 90 years well, to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. 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 Doesn't have to really. He's going to send another one. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that is but nice. You know how you do it. You, you put your one foot on here, and your heel. In oh, there. is that how you do it? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's that is really. Well, you nice. use them all the time on the rain center. Yeah. So. We've got one more to go. For the President, Congressman Denny Astert. Yes, hi. Mr. President, how are you? Good to see you again, yes, sir. Good My to see pleasure. you. Great, great. I'd like to. I don't think since our plan. Right. Hi, Jean. Hi there. Good to see you. My son Josh. Hello. Hello there. Good to see you, Josh. And my son Ethan. You can tell us. Why don't you get kind of in the middle between right. us? That's okay. right. And why don't the boys kind of stand in front between us? And right. Come on over here, and we'll. Yeah. Why don't you slide that just a little bit? You're too tall there. <laughs> That's great. Everybody's looking right here. Thank you, Ms. Brother. And I know yeah, you. what you teach, <laughs> but I don't know which sport you coach. I coach football and wrestling. So football and wrestling. We talked about the old football games in Illinois. Yes. Yes. Uh, my district comes right up to Rochelle, where you uh, played your first high school football game. So That's right. Doing yes. a little study on that. Yes, sir. So, Motor Rochelle, and we won six to nothing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big score back then. Like. Yes. Right. Where, do, where did you uh, where did you play? Well, I played uh, at uh, Swigo High School, which is down mm -hmm. in the Fox Valley. But I played uh, football at Wheaton College, and you were at Eureka, so. Yes, we played at Wheaton. Right. Yeah. I know. Not quite the same time, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was a little before you. Yeah, right. <laughs> quite a so, little. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And thank you for all the support you've been. Yeah. My pleasure. That's uh, yeah. that was good to see you. <laughs> you've uh, done a great job. Nice to meet you. Great thing for this country, and we're yeah. glad to support you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you. Okay. Bye now. Okay. sat down to kind of unenthusiastic applause, and I was embarrassed, especially when the next speaker got up and was being cheered virtually every line. And trying to hide my embarrassment, I beat everybody else, starting to applaud for him. When our ambassador leaned over to him and said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. He's interpreting your speech. <laughs> local artist, Betty Sable, has painted a picture for you, which we think your wife enjoy. And we tried to choose some colors there that we understand that she enjoys. Yes. Mr. Mr. Fred, on behalf of the, the governor and, and all our citizens, we hope you enjoy these wow. tokens of our relief. This, this is a, a marvelous uh, artist. I should be just tickled to death to know that you enjoyed the picture. Oh, okay. And yeah, it's not quite dry, though. No, she's not here with us. Oh, that is just beautiful. Yes. Yes. Her name is right back oh, there. Right. You can there. contact her. Who's present? Could I just say it? You all ought to know that this is not very, very often that the president meets a group like this in the Rose Garden. He's doing us a special favor, and we're most appreciative. These are the lead citizens of New Mexico, our governor. There's an ex-governor in the group, isn't there? He's come to Campbell with us. He's not with us. He's not with us. But he's an almost next president. We're ex president. <laughs> Thank you. I think you'd all be pleased to know that one of the 
were so warm, so friendly, and so just eager to come out and make me know that they felt that way. I wish their government was that way. <laughs> <laughs> Your speech to the students haven't started in the right direction. The Moscow speech is a great speech. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Again. Well, listen, I, I'm sorry. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you all of you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.